Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process video will be a fun Friday collage with me in my traveler's notebook. This is a traveler's notebook that I use to do my collage that was inspired by my friend and sister in Christ, Gail from Gail Bookish and Things. And I really love it. I see that I need to decorate the inside of this. But this was my first collage. I was feeling kind of green and feeling like nature and I really enjoyed the process. I just learned that I can't overthink it. And that's what I ended up doing in this video, but it turned out okay. This was my sunflower vibe. I was feeling sunflower-ish. This one was my fall-ish vibe that I was feeling and I really enjoyed. So today, I don't know, I was just feeling kind of pinkish. I wanted something really soft, powdery, feminine and so I'm going to use the beautiful kit from Ella Rowett and I decided to do these two spreads on this page two spreads meaning the left and the right side of course and using some background uh, paper from Rachel Bella I think there are something that I had I'm going old school when I first started Bible journaling I tried everything so I wanted to pull out some paints and do some paint swiping which I hate because I don't ever get it right. I think I'm just too symmetric. It's just a little too messy for me. I don't know. But I ended up covering it with most of my elements so it doesn't look as bad to me as I thought it did in the beginning. Well, let's see how this works out. Thank you for watching. And remember, if I can Bible journal, so can you. And let's do some fun collaging. And you give it a try. If you do it, let me know down below how you collage and if you have fun doing it or if it's something that you may want to try. It's just a good way to use some elements that you have in your stash or to use a kit that you may want to use in a very creative way. It's just fun. That's all this is. It's just super fun. Take care. Bye biggest struggle with this and I almost gave up and I said no I'm not I'm going to continue with it for some reason I just couldn't get my layout right I couldn't get the background get yeah the background um, cardstock you know the colorful cardstock I said I was going to use it just it just was not coming together I didn't like the way the paint swiping went but again I didn't give up I didn't want to ruin the page. I know there's a way to fix it. So I am just, as you see here, I'm just playing around with different things. And sometimes you get it right on, on the spot and other times you struggle with the layout and how you want things to go. So I wanted to show you guys some of that process so you'll know that things don't just happen spontaneously or organically for us, but it sometimes takes some work and moving things around and trying different things and maybe even sometimes not even liking it. The second paint that I used, I thought it was one color and it came on the page a different color. That was discouraging. And then I finally got another paint. Anyway, by the end, you'll see how it turns out. Let me know what you think. My feelings won't be hurt, but I finally liked the end product once it was done. Because I printed these on clear sticker paper, I decided to use some cardstock because I did so much paint on the background and I'm using some background cardstock already. I didn't want to lose these elements on the page and it would really look messy. So I'm putting them all down and then I'm going to fussy cut around them and add them to my pages. the girl on the page I decided to add some pop dots on it and pop off a couple of other elements or pop up a couple of elements off of this tan the trouble is when I do the next page it's going to be a little uneven trying to work with it but I'll cross that bridge when I get to it but I wanted to just pop up some of the elements to make it look like a 3d as well as doing some collaging and stacking or layering and uh, again like I said it's turning out better than I had thought it would be I stopped overthinking it as I said in the beginning of the video and just started having fun with it and let the chips fall where they may. I hope you were inspired and encouraged by this video to do something in a collage with your extra elements or just have fun. Thank you for watching and take care. Bye.